One of the main reasons I moved from view free to nux free, it's because of the routing system, but also because of middlewares. Because with nux free, what we can use is middlewares, those files that will trigger some operation before we switch from root to another one. So you understood now that we can deal with authentication with middleware, and I can say that with Nux3, it's so useful. Let's have a quick look on the documentation. Nux provides a customizable root middleware framework you can use throughout your application. Ideal for extracting code that you want to run before, before navigating to a particular route. That's amazing. I, I don't know if you realize, but that's amazing because we can deal with several cases we want to deal with thanks to authentication. There are three kinds of root middleware, anonymous or inline root middleware, which are defined directly in the page where they are used. So I get back to my app and I'm going to create a folder called middleware. And I'm going to create a new file. And let's say that this file is going to be called auth.ts. In this auth.ts, I'm going to export default a method called define next. And here be safe because what we want to have is define root middleware. So this method provided by next help us to catch several parameters to and from are from them. So here I'm going to use to from. Now what I'm going to do is to console log this to and this from. All right, so now I got my middleware and you probably understood that there's a mistake because I want this middleware to be triggered everywhere. So if I get back to my app and I update, I don't get anything that is console log. And here on the line two and three of my odd.ts, I'm supposed to have defined a next root middleware. So on every root, it's supposed to execute all the code there. It's because here, the global root middleware is supposed to have a global suffix. So what I'm going to do is to rename and put here hot.global.ts. Now I get back to the app, I update, and there we go. We see that now on this route, I have my two uh, elements that are triggered. The first, it's to, and this is the route I'm going to, and from, this is the route I'm going from. So I'm going to put slash, and I think I already got a root profile there. And as you see, and I got data from where I come and where I go. So it's really useful to use this uh, uh, global, actually, middleware that can help us to trigger some operation. Let's take an example, and let's say that we want to check on every root of our application if we are logged in or not. And we would uh, check that uh, with a variable, okay, is logged in. Okay, which will be on false. All right. Well, the thing is that later we will have a store and in this store we will have some kind of variable like this. So we will be able to check the store first to see if we are logged in or not. And then we could take some decision. But there, what we need to do is to check with if we are logged in or not. Otherwise, if we would not be logged in, we would redirect we would redirect to a login page. And there, what we want to do, we want to uh, redirect, actually, to the page <coughs> we want to go. And this page, we have it because we have two. Two, it's the destination. Two is the destination. So what I can do is console log my two. All right? So when I get back there, I update. And actually, I'm going to go exactly there. Okay. I see that where I want to go is to the uh, full pass. So what I can do is to use a method that is written there called navigate to, navigate to, and not from, to dot full pass. If we are logged in, we say, okay, you can go to the destination you want to go. Otherwise, if you don't want to, you have to navigate to, and the page here could be login. So this is a quick example on how we could create an authentication system 
on every route. But what happens if I remove this global? Here, we already saw that when I remove this global, and I'm going to remove this example, I'm going to say just console log hello from middleware. Oh, there we go. We saw that nothing is happening there. So when I update, nothing is happening on my index page. What you can do also, you can specify to your page that you want to use this middleware hot. So here in my page that I want to add a middleware to, I can type define page meta. And in this function that we already saw to define the layout, but we can also use to many other uh, things like title, etc., etc. We can say, hey, I want to use a middleware and this middleware is going to be auth. Let's check that. And when we get back, we see that hello from middleware auth. If I go on profile, I don't get this hello from the middleware. And what I would need to do is to do exactly the same thing on profile.view. There is also a method that you could use, for instance, inside a plugin. And this method is simply add root middleware. Well, basically what we could do is to say to our plugin to add a root middleware. And we define this by the name of the plugin, then by the function and everything that you want to trigger inside of it. And you can specify at the end if you want it to be global or not. That's another way of adding a middleware, which is very convenient with Nux3 it's that you can set up authentication really fast depending on your middleware. That's an amazing feature for me.